Problem number 40 of section 2.5 asks us to derive the moment generating function of the exponential distribution. Uh, the moment generating function gives us an easy way to calculate what are known as moments. Um, for example, uh, first and second moments uh, include, are known as the uh, mean and mean or expected value or the um, variance. So uh, the higher moments are just kind of generalizations these ideas. But uh, if you can compute the moment generating function, it turns out to be extremely easy to compute the, uh, the different moments of, of a given distribution. Uh, and it's defined as the expected value of um, e to the t x, where x here is um, actually a random variable. So this is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the t times f of x. So in the case of the exponential distribution, um, V of t will equal, uh, we don't really need to consider values less than zero since the distribution is just equal to zero there. So we can go from zero to infinity of, let's see, e to the t. Now we have lambda times e to the negative lambda x dx. And we can simplify this by pulling out the lambda and then combining the, um, the e, uh, e terms. That's, uh, this should be, excuse me, this should be e to the tx. Um, so we have e to the t minus lambda uh, times x dx. All right, um, this is equal to lambda times the limit. Uh, now we want the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from 0 to b uh, of e to the t minus lambda uh, x dx. This is lambda times the limit b approaches infinity. Now, uh, this will be 1 over t minus lambda. Um, right, e minus, or 1 over t minus lambda times e to the t minus lambda x evaluated from zero to b. And we can actually just pull out the t minus lambda. And that leaves us on the inside with e to the t minus lambda b minus uh, e to the zero, which is just one. The only thing we have to worry about is the convergence of the limit of uh, e to the t minus lambda times b as b goes towards infinity. But if you look at this, you'll see it really depends on what, um, what the value of t is uh, with respect to lambda. If t is greater than lambda, then the exponent will be positive. And as b goes towards infinity, um, the whole function is just going to kind of blow up and it'll diverge, actually it won't equal. But if t is uh, less than lambda, uh, then this entire quantity will be, uh, all right. Right, so if t, t is less than lambda, then this uh, exponent will be negative um, for all values of v as we get larger and larger. So say that this will be 1 over um, e raised to a positive power, and that'll the, denom the denominator will tend towards infinity, and meaning that the entire uh, term will just go to zero. So, if t is less than lambda, then um, the moment generating function is equal to this line here, which is lambda over 
t minus lambda uh, times negative 1. So if we incorporate that into the denominator, this becomes lambda over lambda minus t.